you welcome back to the show. It's Alt Sports this beautiful Saturday morning. And like Kunle said, this year is the longest running sports show on Nigerian television since 1996. All right, so moving on. France will play Argentina and Uruguay will play Portugal. And let me come to um, uh, Lale. What are your thoughts, especially with this French team? They've not particularly been very impressive. Absolutely. But you have a feeling that they've got what it takes to just keep grinding out results to the kind of players they have in the arsenal. Yeah, the French team had seven points. Uh, they were able to top uh, the uh, Group A. Mm. And of course, you look, uh, sorry, Group B, I, get, I beg your pardon. Uh, knowing forward that uh, uh, the way things are for them, I think uh, they've had it good against Argentina. Uh, they've actually played uh, 12 times. Uh, they won six against Argentina. Argentina won two, and of course, the Jews remaining four. So you feel that uh, on the earth, earth level, uh, France might want to unique this against Argentina. And of course, Argentina in this World Cup, they've not been really fantastic. We all knew how they actually performed in Group D, where they had Nigeria. They lost uh, uh, the three or four games against Iceland, you know, lost against Croatia. And of course, the ine uh, inevitable uh, 2 1 win against Nigeria. So they've not really been so fantastic. The likes of Lionel Messi and Sonia Kunaguero. Uh, of course, you feel that for the day, the Champs side who have just scored three goals as well. I don't know how fast their chances against the intent, but of course, uh, 7 p.m. Nigerian time tonight, we see uh, if it will be uh, the ABC of Argentina or the label of France. Oh, we're going to be looking forward to that particular because it's going to be star studded. That's the beauty of a World Cup where the big boys come to the party. Well, for uh, Uruguay, it's difficult to talk about a big boy. We're not talking about Luis Suarez. He's been absolutely phenomenal, especially for Uruguay. Club level, yes, but Uruguay is another level, especially when it combines well with Anderson Cavani. They started the uh, tournament quite late, I mean, especially if these two combine it quite well. But you have a feeling that against Portugal, uh, that really has this reliance on, on Cristiano Ronaldo, um, it would probably be a very, very difficult game. Um, well, as you rightly said, um, Portugal actually really relies on Cristiano Ronaldo a lot, and it's going to be a very difficult game. But we need to also understand that yes. the Portuguese are the European champions. You know, against all odds, two years ago, they pulled it even without a Ronaldo in the final because he played about just five minutes in the final. Now, the point still goes to the fact that this is the World Cup. If you balance the Uruguayan side and the Portuguese side, for me, I feel the Portuguese side has seen more experience than the Uruguayan side. Because if you look at the Uruguayan team, if you go from their goalkeeping position, Muslera, Godin, Jimenez, um, Casillas, maybe Suarez, um, Christian Rodriguez, and um, what's his name? Edison Cavani are the most experienced players on the squad. They have young guys coming in, Lucas Torreira, um, the um, Gila Muvarela of this world. Mm. These guys are young. They, they, but they go Bentacor too. Yeah, Bentacor too. Yeah. You know, they are ben blending these guys into the team. Mm. But if you look at the Portuguese team, they have a blend of their um, squad that got to the under 21 finals to the 2015, the likes of Jao Mario, mm. William Cavallo, Bernardo Silva, and Co. They're bringing in new guys to come and help Cristiano Ronaldo, to mm. mix with the old ones. So for me, I feel like it's going to be a very, 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 very emotional game one. It's going to be a game of back and forth mm. because they both have reliable defence. Their goalkeepers are world class and the attack line is super because if you look at Kwaes Mouse go against Iran the other day... Fantastic goal. Understand? And that, that for me is easily one of the goals of the yeah. tournament. Yeah, 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 agreeably. And Cristiano Ronaldo has been fantastic in this competition. He's got four goals in this um, competition, breaking records here and there's the oldest man to score. He lost the penalty, really. No, he lost the penalty. Who doesn't? Everybody, mm. at one point in time, every superstar has done that. But for me, that's not the issue. The issue remains that it's going to be Cristiano Ronaldo up against Diego Godin and Jimenez. And Luis Suarez and Edison Cavani up against Jose Fonte and... Pepe. Pepe. Now that's going to be the key battle. People might say Godin and Jimenez, they have this synergy. The Atletico have this synergy, the Diego Simeone mm. synergy. But for me, if you look at it, Dado has scored about 24 goals against Atletico Madrid, mm. and these two guys are, have I've been, always been there. Yeah, they've always been there. So for mm. me, the, the, it's not a new terrain for him. These guys are not new guys for him. When the, when the game gets heated, that's when you see Cristiano Ronaldo. Stepping up to the plate. Yeah, you are not going to take anything away from Luis Lu Suarez and Edison Cavani. They are going to give Pepe and Osifonte one for their money. Yeah. But I see this game going Portugal's way. Follow Hotspot on social media. We are at Hotspot NG on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.